You must have heard about the Darjeeling tea or pashmina shawls. You know what's common between them? Both are unique to a part of the Indian subcontinent and are not grown anywhere else around the world. So, how is it decided which product is unique to a given region? Well, it is done so by using GI tags or the geographical indication tags. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we are going to discuss about the GI tags and some of India's most important GI tags. GI stands for geographical indication. A geographical indication is a type of intellectual property that identifies a product as originating from a specific region where a particular quality, reputation or other characteristic of the product is attributable to its geographical origin. Geographical indication or GI tags have become increasingly important in recent years as a means of protecting the unique identity and heritage of the products that are associated with a specific region. In India, the GI tag is a symbol of quality and authenticity and it has been used to identify products that are known for their unique characteristics and reputation. The Geographical Indications of Goods Registration and Protection Act of 1999 provides for the registration and protection of geographical indications relating to goods. It is defined as an indication which identifies goods as agricultural, natural or manufactured goods as originating or manufactured in the territory of a country or a region or locality in that territory where a given quality, reputation or other characteristic of such goods is essentially attributable to its geographical origin. The process of obtaining a GI tag is a lengthy and detailed one. The application for registration of a GI tag must be sent to the Geographical Indications Registry which is under the control of the Ministry of Commerce and Industry. The application must include details about the product, its origin and its unique characteristics. It is then examined by the Geographical Indications Registry which determines whether the product is eligible for a GI tag if the product is eligible, the application is published in the Geographical Indications Journal and interested parties have the opportunity to oppose the registration of the GI tag. If there are no objections or if the objections are resolved in favour of the applicant, the GI tag is granted and the product is added to the list of registered geographical indications. India has a rich cultural and agricultural heritage and a number of products are associated with specific regions of the country. Here are the top 6 GI tags of India. Darjeeling Tea Darjeeling Tea is a premium variety of tea that is grown in the Darjeeling district of West Bengal in the foothills of the Himalayas at an altitude of between 3,000 and 8,000 feet above sea level. The unique flavour and aroma of Darjeeling Tea are attributed to the region's soil, climate and altitude. The tea is often described as having a muscatel flavour which is a unique combination of sweet and tart notes. Darjeeling tea is also known for its light colour and delicate body which make it a refreshing and enjoyable tea to drink. Pashmina Pashmina is a type of wool that is produced from the fleece of the Himalayan mountain goat also known as the Chang Thangi goat. The wool is known for its softness, warmth and lightness and is used to make shawls, scarves and other clothing items. Pashmina shawls are highly prized for their softness, warmth and luxurious feel. These shawls are made using traditional weaving techniques and they are often embellished with intricate embroidery or beading. Pashmina shawls are available in a wide range of colours and designs and they are popular as gifts and as fashion accessories. Kanchipuram Silk Sarees Kanchipuram Silk Sarees, also known as Kanchi Silk Sarees, are a type of silk sari that is woven in the town of Kanchipuram in the state of Tamil Nadu. These sarees are known for their rich colours, intricate designs and durability. The sarees are made using pure mulberry silk threads which are dyed in vibrant colours and then woven precisely. These sarees typically feature intricate designs and motifs such as peacocks, flowers and leaves that are woven into the fabric using gold and silver zari threads. The zari threads are made of the gold or silver wire that is twisted around the silk or cotton core giving the sarees a shimmering and luxurious look. The town of Kanchipuram has a long history of silk weaving dating back to the 7th century. The sarees were originally woven for the royal families and the wealthy elites of South India but today they are popular with women from all walks of life. Kashmiri Saffron Kashmiri Saffron is a variety of saffron that is widely regarded as the world's finest and most expensive spice. It is grown in the region of Kashmir in the northernmost part of the country and is prized for its intense aroma, unique flavour and vibrant colour. It is used in a wide range of dishes from savoury rice and meat dishes to sweet desserts and drinks. 
Kashmiri saffron is also used in traditional medicines and is believed to have a wide range of health benefits including improving digestion, reducing inflammation and boosting mood. Nagpur Orange Nagpur Orange, also known as Nagpur Mandarin or Santra, is a variety of citrus fruit that is grown in the city of Nagpur in the state of Maharashtra. It is widely regarded as one of the best oranges in the world. Nagpur oranges are not only delicious but also packed with nutrients. They are a good source of vitamin C, vitamin A and dietary fiber and they also contain flavonoids and antioxidants which can help to protect the body against cell damage and chronic diseases. Banarasi Silk Sarees As the name suggests, Banarasi Silk Sarees are traditional sarees that are made in the city of Varanasi in Uttar Pradesh. The sarees are known for their intricate brocade work and luxurious feel. The history of silk sarees dates back to 500 BC. However, the present style of Banarasi sari is a mixture of Indian and Persian techniques developed during the Mughal era. India has been the home to several unique arts and products that are indigenous to this part of the world. And to preserve this heritage, the GI tags are very important. Apart from some of the famous tags mentioned in this video, there are hundreds of other GI marked products in India. But that is for another day. If you like this video, hit the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to In Depth.